today's Toy Spot, we are having a look at the Mattel WWE Defining Moments Stone Cold Steve Austin. Steve Austin comes with three, not one, not two, but three heavyweight titles. He comes with the original classic uh, Eagle title. He comes with the Attitude uh, Era title. And as well, he comes with the Smoking Skull title, all of which we will look at when we get this out of packaging. It's recommended for ages 8 and up, with a choking hazard small parts, not for children under 3 years of age. The side of the package features an illustration of Stone Cold Steve Austin, the rattlesnake, on the back. The year was 1998. WrestleMania 14 was on the horizon. Vince McMahon introduced boxing champion Mike Tyson, only to be interrupted as Stone Cold Steve Austin stomped into the ring. Austin declared that Tyson did not belong in the WWE. Tyson pushed Austin. Later, Tyson was announced as special enforcer for Stone Cold match, a uh, Stone Cold's match at WrestleMania, and he gave the allegiance to Shawn Michaels, Austin's opponent. Austin and Michaels met at WrestleMania. Stone Cold blocked Michaels' attempt at Sweet Chin Music and delivered the Stone Cold Stunner. Tyson declared Stone Cold Steve Austin the new WWE champion. Michaels stood up in front of Tyson and. Uh, for betraying him, and Tyson knocked him out. Stone Cold left the ring with the WWE Championship in one arm and the other raised in victory by Mike Tyson. Spot's going to take a break and get this opened up. When we come back, though, we're going to get a better look at the defining moments Stone Cold Steve Austin. There's more heavyweight anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Just before we have a look at Stone Cold, I'm just gonna move the figure to the side for a second. I just wanna show you this really cool display that comes inside the box. Something that you probably might not see as quickly as when you take the box out, you might just put the packaging to the side, but there's really a lot of interesting stuff going on in here. You see the skulls on the side? The lar two larger skulls in the back that are comprised of all the individual Stone Cold skulls. You've got Austin 316 at the bottom, and you even have a Stone Cold, hopefully the light can pick it up, Right there, Stone Cold Steve Austin signature number one. Um, to some extent, you could really take the figure and display him as you see right here. Of course, the sides you're still gonna see cardboard, but other than that, I think that looks really cool. I won't be displaying him necessarily like this, but I think it's a nice little touch that Mattel incorporated. Well, let's just move that out of the way. Put that to the side. The other things that come with Stone Cold Steve Austin, as mentioned, touched base on at the beginning of this review. He comes with three championship titles. He comes with the Attitude Era title, which Spot originally had as an adult belt. I sold my belts a long time ago. I so regret doing that. It's one of my favorite titles was the Attitude Era. I think my favorite title still to this day is the, uh, the unified uh, WWE title, which was a little wider. It was the one that uh, JBL held and Eddie Guerrero, Brock Lesnar. That's probably one of my favorite is the unified title there. But then we've got the, uh, you know, the Attitude Era, a much bigger uh, metal in the middle and then smaller plates on the sides. All the belts can just be attached. They have little pegs and holes on the sides. Easy, very easy to attach. He also comes with a lot of fans' favorite title, the Eagle title. Made famous by the likes of well, Shawn Michaels, uh, Bret Hart, Hulk Hogan. It attaches the exact same way. I love these little titles. I would just be co collecting figures above and beyond the fact that the figures are cool, but I'd be collecting the figures as well just to get all these really cool belts. And finally, a little more of an obscure title. We have the Smoking Skull title, which he didn't really have for a long period of time. The side plates are a little bit different in shape as well. I always saw this and I thought to myself, why didn't Rock have one? Rock should have had like a Brahma Bull title. But it's got the Stone Cold Skull with the emblem on, on top, the smoke coming out of his eyes. Very cool. Very, very cool. I, I, I guess really you could, you know, have two on his shoulders, one around his waist. Just put those to the side. Okay, so let's have a look at Stone Cold Steve Austin. I don't own a lot of Stone Colds, and by I don't own many, I don't own any Stone Colds except for this figure right here. Kind of glad I held off because really for all the stuff that you get, the multitude of titles, you know, you get Stone Cold with his vest, which I might add is also removable. 
Um, the only downside is I would probably say take the arms off unless you want to try to fight to get them over the shoulders. Um, for display purposes, I'm likely just to display Stone Cold with the vest on, which features the skull on the one side, 316, Austin down the other. And then, of course, on the back, the big, um, you know, skull on the back with Stone Cold. Likeness-wise, I think it's one of the better sculpts for Stone Cold. Again, I don't really have many to compare it to, and I'm sure this face has probably been used before or could be a brand new sculpt, but I think I've got no complaints. It does look like Stone Cold. He's a very basic wrestler in that he has black trunks, black knee pads. Sure, of course, he's got the knee braces as well and black boots. Not really a lot of wow to Stone Cold, but certainly he made up for it as the character that he was in the ring. And then he's got his little Texan, uh, Texas tattoo down below. His knee braces, which I would not make efforts to try to take them off. I mean, I guess you could probably just slide them off, but... I would, I would just be inclined to probably more so leave them. There's a little bit of ply to them. They are rubbery, as the same to be said for the knee pads, both of which I wouldn't really start playing around with. You start taking them off, you might warp them too much to try to put them back on. But very happy with the figure. It's also too, the, um, because it is the, 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 the figures that have the crunch, you get a little extra posability to the figures themselves. Uh, you know what, let's just run through the posable articulation on Stone Cold Steve Austin. His head does rotate, left and right. Shoulders hinge forward and back, rotate all the way around. He has a rotation in the bicep, single bend elbow. Rotation in the wrist, which also hinges. Uh, of course, as we already mentioned, he has the top torso crunch. He would have a waist swivel, but it's just really, really tight on this figure. Ball joint legs, top swivel cut thigh. He's got a double hinge knee, which as you can see, the knee braces do a pretty good job of staying out of the way. He could do also executing of the Stone Cold Stunner, which he could do a lot easier as he would report versus wearing the jean shorts. He always said that that was really hard. He could never quite get the leg up when he was doing the Stone Cold Stunner with the, the jean shorts. And finally, he's got a pivot point and hinge down below in his foot. Stone Cold, Stone Cold is currently available uh, in stores. I think I actually picked this guy up at Walmart, but I'm sure you can find him at Toys R Us, Walmart, and any place that sells figures. Would I recommend him? Absolutely. Not only are you getting a great Stone Cold figure, but you're also getting three titles that you can either display with Stone Cold, or you can have them displayed, well, maybe not necessarily the Smoking Skull title, but you could have any one of the other titles displayed with, you know, a multitude of different figures that have all held the titles somewhere in their career. Today, we were having a look at the Heritage Collection. Uh, this was the Stone Cold Steve Austin with titles. Three of them. You got three of them. I guess that's the bottom line, because Spot said so. Today, we're having a look, though, at Stone Cold Steve Austin. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more Toy Spot's heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.